I did not hold you in my womb, so I could one day hold that against you. Yes, you are my child, you are my daughter, my blood, my descendant. These are words of possession, but I do not possess you. You are not mine. I do not keep you on a leash so that you may one day be drawn back to me to care for my future fragile frame. As I once cared for you in my past, my babbling babe. I will be fine with my books and my chessboard and your father's wrinkled hand in mine. However, if you stay near, I will bask in your sunshine smiles and nurture the flowers in your garden. I will wallow cold and wet skinned through every storm you weather. For I will weather it alongside you. I will shield you in my body if and when the lightning comes. But I rather hope you will travel far, that you will follow your spirit where it longs to go if it so chooses, that you shut your eyes and seal your ears to the obnoxious, cacophonous outside world to better hear the faint voice within, that you will not hesitate to seek out your happiness, to find your own cliffside and carve out diligently your own piece of sacred ground to cherish that you will refuse to settle if your feet find that they prefer to keep moving, that your home be as wild and ever-changing as you wish it to be. The world is tiny and also too big, like breaking and frightening, each in turn and both at once, and you did not ask for it. There is nothing I can do about that, except hope, if you'd had the opportunity you would have, except hope that you embrace this life for what it was always meant to be, a glorious gift.